Hello everybody, I am here. How is everybody? Thank you, thank you for coming today. Let's have a see who's in the room. I see a lot of blue and I love it. <clears throat> Good evening, my beautiful mod squad. <laughs> So, Ashley's here but lurking and working. Hello, Kat. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Debs. Anyone? I don't think I've missed anyone. Hi, Caroline. How is everybody? I'm just getting my pencils out because I've literally just stuffed my Cajun chicken kebabs in my mouth. <laughs> and I forgot I put all these away because I was colouring that little Harlequin themed furry. So I've got all the other pencils out instead of the pencils I'm meant to have out. So let's get on with the stone faced furry. <laughs> How is everyone? Hi, Nick and Tina. So welcome, welcome, everybody. I will have to just nip two seconds. Just bear with me two seconds. Sorry about that. One of the kids must have unplugged my wire. So my internet wire was a bit not very good. <laughs> I had the red line of death on my screen. Have I missed anyone coming in? Gosh, I'm out of breath. Hi, Dana. Hi, Leah. Hi, Maribel. Gosh, I'm really out of breath. So, what I'm doing today, we're going to carry on with the stone lady, the stone furry. Um, what I've decided on, I've sat and thought about it after we had the mad dash of doing it stone. <laughs> so today, we're going to be doing even more um, wackiness. And I'm going to be doing a stone all the way down to say about here. And then I'm going to crackle all her arms and then halfway down she's going to break out the stone and the bottom half of her and the bottom half of the dinosaur or dragon is also going to be breaking out of his stone so the bottom so the tights and the skirt and this half here of the dinosaur will be color will be so it looks like she was stone and her wings have broke out and her legs are starting to break out the stone and all that's left is the her so this will all be stone and moss to about here and then it'll all be breaking out the concrete so that's my plan now whether my plan will go to plan is another matter <laughs> so we shall see so i'm going to start with the her the her won't be done the traditional way I won't be doing flicky, flicky, flicking. 
it'll be done as though what it would look like on a statue so where each of these big bands are i'll be dipping that in as though it's been sliced out and shaped that way rather than her technique so let's start <laughs> can't it definitely is but hey yeah, well there's nothing um you know what shell art is like so we're gonna go with a bit of ambition today so hopefully it works i'm just gonna put my phone on silent people always tend to ring when i'm coloring <laughs> so i'll just put these pencils away because i've got my pencils out for the little harlequin i've done today or yesterday when i need these Very does now go downstairs, young lady. You made me jump. Go. <laughs> my daughter just sneaked up at the side of me then, made me jump out my skin. Okay, okay. So, welcome everybody coming in. And I'm very happy that you're all here. Oh, thank you, Leah. It was a bit of a disaster, but I got over my disaster when I straight last when I was on on Sunday. It was the no, so the one eyes up here and one eyes down here, so that seemed a bit off. And then the nose is central, so when I did the shape of it, it looked like she had a right wonky nose. So we won't be doing that again. <laughs> so today has been very eventful <clears throat> because. People who know me know that my daughter's year eight at school all got sent home because a child's got tested and come back positive for COVID. So they sent the whole of my daughter's year home from school. So to put my own ma peace of mind, I've sent her for a COVID test today, which was very eventful. I'm not going to lie, I had to shove the thing up my daughter's nose. <laughs> did you hear her then actually she, she just appeared she was like stealth mode and then next minute there was a child stood at the side of me it was like stealth mode no problem look away kenny you was lurking leah <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna go with the grids i was using so yeah we had this little swab and i've never done the test before and it said i had to put the thing at the back of her throat and swish it round five times in these five special points and then the same swab that you've just done with the throat you then have to stick it up your nose so my daughter was having issues because she was like it's got spit on the stick i'm not shoving that up my nose and i'm like you have to put it up your nose if you said so i would wind my window down and um, I says to the lady, can we wipe the spit off because she won't put it up her nose? And she's like, no, nope, you'll contaminate it. Don't touch it. You have to put it up your nose with spit on. And I could see it's gleaming and everything under the stick. And I'm like, Ugh. I was feeling sick for her. So anyway, she sticks it up. And the instruction says, hi, Mary. Glad you're feeling better. It says to go up her nose till you feel resistance. It should go in two and a half inches. I was like, her nose isn't two and a half in inches long. Never mind. So I'm shoving it up her nose. Then she starts crying. I was like, oh my gosh, this is awful. So I quickly swilled it round that. And then it had to go in other nostrils. So then by then it was full of slaver, snot. And then I had to stick it up her other nostrils. She was completely mortified. <laughs> so hopefully it comes back negative i'm assuming it will be negative because the odds on her being in contact with this girl when there's over 100 kids in year eight is probably very slim but for my own peace of mind and my husband's uh, a key worker so he needs to make sure there's no risk there so that's the reason i did it but it's very eventful <laughs> hi d no problem honey i'm sure it will dana Hopefully it will. Oh, belting Caroline. Was it as traumatic for you? <laughs> so, 
I'm going to need to pick out the areas I want to do moss. So we'll get on with doing that. So I'm just going to put random like we did the other day with the moss. So we're just going to do the random bits of moss around the head. So hopefully you can all see what I'm doing. This colour, the sunburst, is quite bright so you might not be able to see exactly what I'm doing on camera. not very pleasant <laughs> port my brain so you've had it as well <laughs> port your brain well someone said to her it's like it feels like it's going to tickle your brain so she was already a bit um mortified from being told that so that probably wasn't the best thing for people to say but hey well at least for our own peace of mind now we'll know um we'll know if there's anything comes back on that but do you know what made me laugh <laughs> you're watching me and the hobbit oh i love the hobbit the sinuses go up very far into the cranium wow but we pulls up and there's this there's this hut and you have to speak to this guy and he asks, do you have an appointment? And I was like, yeah, 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 we've made the appointment. And he was like, right, okay. He said, and who's the test for? I said, my daughter here at Zad. And he went, oh, she looks like she's got symptoms. And I thought, how do you look like you've got a cough? And how do you look like you've got high temperature? And how do you look like you can't smell or taste anything? And I just busted out laughing. <laughs> And he looked at me funny, I went, she's not got symptoms. I said, someone's been, oh, don't worry, it's fine, go ahead, love. And I was just like, she looks like she's got symptoms. <sighs> I think he's been in his little tent way too long, but that was the funniest thing I'd heard all day. I think she's, she looks like she's got symptoms. Go ahead, straight over to the next hut. I was like, okay, bye-bye. So I'm just going to randomly put this moss around everywhere because she's going to be very mossy and then I want to do the grey around it. Can't wait to see if I can do it. <laughs> You're going to see some of Shell Artie's drawing skills soon. Hi Jennifer. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> it's definitely was Kenny. <laughs> oh, up to the eyeballs! Oh my god! It, well, it said push it up until you hit resistance, and I'm thinking I'm holding her head because she's coming back away from me, and I'm going in with a stick, and I'm pushing. I'm going, yeah, that's resistance. So she's like, ah, get out my nose! It's full of spit. <laughs> <laughs> the woman kept watching over and she's like thumbs up at me and I'm like yeah we're all right here my daughter's like oh it's horrible <laughs> oh what a day what a day and I was like oh the thing's very furry so that is definitely going to tickle your nose we have definitely discussed this hi Auntie Claire this is my lovely auntie, Claire Marsden. Debbie! Hello! How are you, honey? That wolf was... No, it's not a wolf. It was a bear, wasn't it, Debbie? You was colouring. It was stunning. That fur was amazing. Beautiful, honey. So, 
just going to finish putting these random ones down. I'm just going to do it all. Instead of doing one little tiny bit at a time moving around, I'm going to do the whole thing. So this is what I'm going for. I've kept the picture. I'll show you all what I'm going for. So you have the vision in your mind exactly like I did. And I bet you any money now it's not on this phone. <laughs> So this is the kind of thing I'm going for. Can you all see that? I don't know if it'll be too dark. So I'm going for where the moss, this is was the idea what was in my head after we did the um, statue. So that's my idea. So now everyone knows what's in my brain. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah. She looks like she's got symptoms. I thought that's the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> you British citizen, <laughs> what's that mean? No problem, Kenny. Hello, Louise. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Are you still diamond painting or are you colouring, honey? Which are you doing? So I'm trying to keep my pencil up here so you can see what I'm doing. So I don't want to come too far down because I want to start breaking the concrete here. Is it made out of concrete statue? I think it is, isn't it? So... I'm going to want some on her shoulders here. And I was so stressed out on Sunday because you all seen the pictures I've shown you all about the moss I did do. And it looked like sick. <laughs> Until I found this way. This is more of a furry moss than a thick heavy grass moss but still the same thing isn't it I'm going to come off the top of the head here purely because there's quite a lot of moss on the top the statues <laughs> Ashley <laughs> It's just full of all mad ideas. <laughs> I'm there. Ashley, can I video chat with you? She's like, yeah, why? I, I just want to, I need to brainstorm with you. She's like, okay. <laughs> so as everybody knows, I hope you um all seen the Spooktober stuff going about. And um, I'm lucky enough to be streaming. <laughs> I'm so excited um, for the October. So coupling up, colouring and my other two favourite hobbies are going to be in one mashup because I love the paranormal ghost stories. I have ghost stories to tell because I'm a paranormal investigator and also my love of colouring all in one place. It is going to be amazing and I cannot wait and I'm so chuffed I've sat and I've watched these streams for a good couple of years and it's probably been my dream in a way to become streamers and it started uh, last week with Shannon and Tonya with the uh, and Murray with the furries in fall which we're doing now that's my first ever one and then this is the second one I've done so I am so excited so I think that's a lot of moss. It just looks like a lot of green. So I hope you're all following the Spooktober events. Um, if anyone knows a link, if not, I should have put it in the description really because I've mentioned it. But I will start advertising it in my streams anyway, um, going towards October. Yeah. 
It would help if I'm telling you what I'm using, wouldn't it? So I've put my skin tone ones here. So now I'm using this one. Oh, you've been, I've been diamond painting all day. My horse is halfway done. <laughs> uh, and now I'm coming. So we're doing the same with twinnies today, Lou. <laughs> Smash that button. <laughs> of the chat. It was so cool. It was like two o'clock at morning. I'm yawning and I'm like, Ashley, I need to go to bed now. <laughs> Spook. Oh, thanks everyone for the thumbs up. <laughs> Shelly Bella. <laughs> There's somebody else who calls me Shelly Bella. <laughs> right, let me just get zoomed in because I'm not even zoomed in. You can't see what I'm doing, can you? And hopefully I've got some new software going into my computer so I should be able to start streaming with my actual SLR camera. So, a DLSLR, DSLR camera. I'm not too sure. <laughs> so, we're going in between. So, get keeping my pencil really sharp. We're going in with green tea. I showed most of you this on Sunday anyway. Um, I'm just adding these in between the sherbet the sunburst that we've just used sherbet i got one with sherbet on must have sherbet on the brain oh thank you jennifer <laughs> i love the shelly belly bit that's funny <laughs> Me mate jane she's i'm surprised she's not in yet but she always calls me shelly bella and she has me saved on a phone as shelly bella it's quite funny and sometimes she'll ring up and she'll go shelly belly like that at the phone down at me <laughs> oh if someone says oh what's your name and if i i don't use my formal name michelle and i say oh it's shelly they go oh, me shell my bell i'm like oh don't sing that song <laughs> please don't sing that song so we're going in with all the moss everywhere the more moss the better i'm going to be cracking it all as well once i put the gray in be around it Ice cream bands about. Can you hear me? <laughs> Ice cream bands. Oh, it makes me think about a nugget wafer. Some whippy ice cream. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, Aiden's mum. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Are you okay? You're not all screaming and shouting down your playstations. It's quite funny because my son is 18 in February. And every time I live stream, I say, right, get off your playstation. <laughs> it's time for me to live stream. And he's like, oh, mom. So just keeping my pencil very sharp. So this... Green tea it will suffer badly because it's going to get sharpened and sharpened and sharpened. I'll just put a few more here. I don't want some lonely ones. Belting, lab belting. Just 
going to keep green tea up there. And it reminds me, I've just looked at my nails on stream. I need to get them sorted out. Oh, thanks, Kat, for the link. <laughs> She's amazing. They all are. All amazing. So, like I said, you might find someone else who does a better way of doing moss. But this is the way I've found I can do it and make it look like moss. And that's how I did a facey. So, to me, I don't know, some people say it looks like... <laughs> You're too afraid to stream. Don't be afraid to stream. Once you, honestly, if you'd have watched my whale ones back when I first did my, uh, I think it was the avatar face I did, go back and watch them and look how I was. I was so timid and scared and now I'm just like, whoa, I'm not even bothered. I tell people that I trump on here. I'm so open. It's like you're all my best mates. And honestly, after a few times, it, it's fine. It's fine. I love it now. I can even giggle in there. But our ends laughing at her all going, ha, ah, look at your mum streaming. Ha, ha, ha. We know the schedule, but I don't know if the schedule's public, cat. So um, as soon as I know we can give out a, an actual schedule that we've been given to pass out, I'll put it in my shell art on facebook if any of you are on facebook and you're not already add me as a friend i'm just the same name shell Arte. honestly i was the same you will get over it jennifer honestly you will <laughs> i bet you are aaron <laughs> So I'm just going to keep working down here. So I'm so excited. And I'm colouring for Deborah Muller. So I'm so excited of the images I've got to colour. I just can't decide which one I'm doing first. I will be doing both images for Spooktober. Because I'll run it, I'll carry on running it through the month. Oh, you will. You'll be there in a few months. You'll be like, Shell, I'm streaming. And I'll be like, go, girl. <laughs> okay, so now I'm moving on to Grub Green. And we're still here just going in between the lighter colours we've just put in. And we'll build up in between with the darker greens and add the browns. But the top layers I just want to keep quite light and bright. Uh, I was given the image, Shannon. So I'll start advertising it and I'll put the schedule because I know when I'm streaming, when I'm streaming. So I'm just going to double check I'm all right to put a schedule on so people know when it is and I'll put it up on my channel. Because so, I don't know the ins and outs of everything yet because I'm not very well up with them. <laughs> I'm not no pro. 
at colorathons yet. But at least it's one part of my colouring dream that I've been able to successfully do. And I had an absolute blast, didn't we? Uh, Shannon and Murray and Tonya and Heather and Vicky and Sammy. It was such a great event. To do. And I'm still doing mine. <laughs> I think all everybody else has finished from Furries in Fall and I'm still here. Slow as a slug. Chuggering along with me one picture. <laughs> oh, Sammy! Hello! <laughs> How's the decorating? Grub green is Mary's kind of colour. It is looking absolutely lush, my friend. Beautiful decorating. How's your back, honey? You okay? Yeah, Kat's done this image. She's done it and absolutely outstanding. Go and check it out. I hate my camera at the minute because all they look like is yellow blobs on the screen. And it's going to annoy me that now. Losing its point. Oh, I loved it, Murray. Anytime, anytime, honey. If you do another one, I'll be there. I loved it. I've not laughed like that in absolute months. It was amazing. And last night was weird not seeing your stream on. <laughs> it's like become part of my... Um, It's come like night TV for me. <laughs> Hi, Luz. Is it Luke or Luz? Luke? Van? Oh, Aiden. There's all these people coming in my chat from my son's um, <laughs> gaming friends. No, boys, don't start messing about on my stream. I'll have to come and kick your butts. Can even laugh? I can hear her Aiden laughing in his bedroom. Be back next week. I'm missing you out. Oh, yay! Well, don't tell them don't be messing around on my stream. I'll, I'll block my mods will block them. They've got whacking sticks. They'll whack them off my stream. All right, Aiden, back in that bedroom. Stop laughing. <laughs> Can't wait, Sammy. Saturday afternoon streams with Sammy. I actually looked on um, Saturday and I was like, oh, have I missed it? But then I looked and there was one and then I thought, oh, she's decorating. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. I think they just think it's hilarious how he's just been told. I bet they said my mum streams on Facebook and they're all like, <laughs> I can imagine them all now. Okay, we're moving on to Venom.
No need to be sorry, Luke. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hi, Tonya. Oh, no. There's nothing worse than when you find one all, then you find another all, then you find another all. So... And then, before you know it, you're doing 10 tonne of decorating everywhere you didn't expect. <laughs> so now, with Venom, I'm going to go in between. It's going to feel like a very long process, this, but I'm very sorry. I wanted to... I like doing the whole thing on, actually in the stream, because I get some people messaging me and they're like, oh, we should have done that bit in the stream, so... I really so if you want me to move on to start doing the stone, just let me know. Or if you're happy to just watch me do the moss. Um also let me know. But like I said, there's probably better ways to do the moss, but this is just the way that I've found so far. They love it, don't they? It's just like, oh, let's see what else we can do in this mix of decorating. <laughs> it can look amazing though, Sam. It already does. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> oh that's the worst part glossing and the doors i hated the doors but then when they're done they look amazing they look fresh crisp and white and you're like oh, and your wrists are killing you after If there is anything for me, just pop it in big capital letters so I don't miss. I don't have my tablet on in front of me tonight, so I'm having to watch it um, on my live stream bit. What are you watching, Lee? Let me let me have a look. <gasps> are you are you on about supernatural? Supernatural. I think I know what you're on about when I said you're not ready for it to end. I've got some catching up. I used to watch every one of them religiously all the time. And then I lost track of it. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Oh, that's the fun part, Sammy. The fun part of it all, isn't it? So these are just hoover tiny little tiny tiny flicks. And the minute your pencil stops giving you that sharp you need to repoint your pencil. 
and all i do this if you probably all do it but all i do is push my pencil in and just at the tip and i just push it against the blade and it gives me a nice tip again which saves on sharpening and sharpening and sharpening and then that just gives me a nice little point again to go again and do some more Oh, you're broken. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Get Andrew to give you a nice massage, Sammy. Although he probably needs one as well. You'll have to give each other one. <laughs> Get him fix you first and then give him one. And I still haven't picked anything Victorian yet to colour for Vicky's colorathon. I'm like, oh, what do I want to do? That list is long. <laughs> me more <laughs> oh i cannot believe there's going to be no more sam and dean winchester i need to catch up though i'm about two three seasons behind so it's not going to end for me just right now so i've got some catching up to do I hope this comes out good because if it does I think it's gonna look amazing if it comes out the, the way I've got it pictured in my mind if it comes out good I think it'll look amazing especially if I can do a breaking out of the stone the way I've got it in my head that would be good wouldn't it I tell you when it was the last time I watched. Hi Robin. Thank you for coming watching. The last one I watched, I'm sure. And I bet I'm probably quite a few seasons. Um but Dean had the mark of Cain. That was the last season I watched of Supernatural. So how far am I off it ending? How many seasons am I out? That's what scares me, cat. I don't do tiny, tiny, tiny dress lacy details. That's what scares me, cat. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next colour now, which is forest. Forest. And this is going to go round and just flick in all different directions with this now. Was that your last season? Oh, you've got a Dean diamond painting. Oh, I need to get one of them. So I've got four seasons. Oh, yes. That is amazing.
I'm sure that's where it was up to the Mark Kane. And up until that, I just lost track of it. I was into Vampire Diaries in the originals, and there was just too many, and life. And I loved Vampire Diaries in the originals, and I was so sad when the originals ended. I was just like Elijah. <gasps> oh, it, it that brought me when that ended. I loved it. No, definitely not, Shannon. Never have enough of Dean. Oh, his lips. Every time I watch him, I just watch his lips move. It's so weird. <laughs> oh, I thought there's something about that boy. As Tonya would say, I just can't. I just can't with him. <laughs> it's just too much. Beautiful, good, and yumminess. Is this starting to look mossy? Is it definitely, um, have I got some good things coming to watch in them four seasons, girls? Yes, Lou, his voice and his car. Oh, and he pops his hood and there's all his mean man things and you're like, oh, whoa. it's making you even more hot. <laughs> oh, Dean Winchester. Sam's a bit too, a bit fluff for me. He's a bit soft um but dean oh so good looking <laughs> could eat him on a butter oh murray <laughs> i cried at the end of the originals what they did oh I was so sobbing. <laughs> Sammy, he's bankrupt. He's definitely, um, oh, he's all manning. He's so nice. That's how I used to be. I used to be, I absolutely loved it. And then I don't know how I lost track of it because I watched it religiously all the time. I don't know if it had a big break or something happened where I didn't end up going back and watching it. And I was just like, oh. And before I knew it, there was seasons upon seasons and I just thought, I've not got time to catch it up. But I might have to see if it's on Netflix and have a right Netflix binge. Crowley. Gosh, last time I seen him, they had him tied up in a chair. So I'm just using... Gosh, I'm not even using Venom anymore. I've still got Venom on in my hand. I mustn't have changed them. I'm so sorry about that. We're using Forest. Put it over here in that top corner, actually.
<laughs> oh, thanks, Kim. Oh, is he now? I might have to look that up, Sammy. Oh, the originals. Just love it. No spoilers here. We won't tell you anything, Murray or Sammy. <laughs> Lords have said that, Kim. Um, it was a bit of a joint effort with Kat, me and Kenny because I was sat here and I had my little plan of what I was doing. And then Kat said, whoa, wouldn't it look cool if you did like grey skin tone with like stone? I was like, whoa, that would be cool. But then I had my plan in my mind and I don't normally deviate off what I have in the head. But I did. And then I had a bit of a mini meltdown because it kind of was going a bit wrong. Then I rubbed it out and fixed it. And then I was like, what can I do? And then Kenny said, just put cracks in it. <laughs> so that's what I did. And I put cracks in it and that's what came out. So now I'm just putting moss all over the top half. And then I'm going to break it all in the bottom half and turn it back into a normal furry and clothes and everything. So half of it is going to be stone, cracked. And the other half is going to be... So all this bit down here is going to be real colours and then to about here it's going to be stone and then I'm going to break it off hopefully all being well it, that it works because I might not be able to pull it off I think I'm probably dreaming about how well I can colour here because it might not come off <laughs> it is, isn't it? Like I see, my friend said, um, she looks like she's got her on her face. I said, well, Moss is her, eh? <laughs> the original Shannon. Talking about the originals, I think, now, or Vampire Diaries, one or the other. Definitely, Debbie, try it. It's so good. And what's the worst that that can happen? You just if it if it goes wrong, just try again on something else, and you'll get it. I just, I just the first time I did it was on my water dragon. I'll show you, and I was like, I loved it. Uh, and ever since then, because I can quickly show you all now, because I've I've rearranged my drawers so everything's back into looking nice and neat uh, and the first time I had a go at it let me zoom out so it's in view and I didn't know how well it would go I didn't know if it would work or it would look daft um, but I, my imagination in my head, I saw the water dragon on top of her head and I thought I wanted him to be, to get, I wanted him to be one. So I merged his skin with her skin and then I give her his eyes and he's got her natural brown eyes and I mix the two. And that's when I morphed it and I just thought, will skin tone go from bright yellow to skin tone? And I just, it just did it and I loved it. <laughs> definitely Lou go check it out so that's the first one I did Debbie and then obviously I've done it again here at the top of her head and I was going to morph it the same tone as this and then we decided to change it up with a bit of help from Kenny and Kat <laughs> so it's all it's all part of the fun isn't it just do it it's, if it don't work out it doesn't work out it's all part of colouring oh 
Oh, close. Oh, these. He was. It's not that he's dead nice looking, but there was just something about him that made me go <laughs> when I was watching him. <laughs> but I loved Elijah. He was so sweet. And I love Rebecca. And same with Vampire Diaries. I think I ended up getting into them. I'm sure Supernatural went on a break and I ended up someone was telling me about vampire diaries and said if you like that you'll love vampire diaries and i think i started watching that and then i never went back to supernatural so it could be nice to find out what happened to them all we'll start catching up on it once the kids are all back in school and i'm not having some on quarantine and some in school Oh, thanks, Kim. Thanks, Caroline. I've put my phone on silent, Jane. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right jane are you okay luke jane i've got someone else who calls michelle belly like you <laughs> oh yeah you loved it didn't you the only one I didn't like was True Blood. I couldn't get into that. I really couldn't get into that True Blood. <laughs> Tonya. <laughs> What's the other one? Does anyone remember the other one that Jane's famous for as well on here? <laughs> I was talking about that the other day. It was funny. Oh, have you finished it? It did get very weird. Well done, Jane. I've started using my multiplayer, so Kat said. Use your multiplayer, so I'm like, okay. Oh, Game of Thrones. I watched every season of that. Even all the really bad seasons at the start that was verging on porno pornography, should I say. Uh, I even watched all them, got through all them, and that ending was just not right. It's not on. So we're nearly there with the moss. Nearly there, everyone, with the moss. I need to try and get quicker at colouring as well, but I don't know how to make myself quicker. <laughs> how do I make myself quicker? <gasps> oh, what are you having, Sam? Oh, I love Ian. Ian's eyes are the most beautifulest things I have ever seen. They just pull you in and they're like, he's got come hither, Luke. And it's like, I'm coming. <laughs> Jon Snow.
<laughs> well, I've used it today, but my big one from DAC is a metre. A metre by a metre and a half, I think. The big corpse bread. I want to do that for Halloween. I'm going to video myself doing that. But then again, is it a bit boring videoing diamond art painting? I might video it and then put a time lapse on. Do people watch your diamond paint? I don't really know. I don't follow actual any videos diamond painting. So I don't know. We'll see. So I'm not being uniform in any way with these what I'm doing. I'm literally just flicking them here, there and everywhere. Because when you look at moss closely, I suppose that's what it does. So she looks very mossy there. I'm trying to make sure you can all see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go on to Fang Green now, which is our darkest green. Fang. We're all talking about Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Fang Green. No problem, Kenny. Say hi to Bailey. What are you messing up, Sherry? What are you doing? <laughs> so here with this, I'm going to mainly like block bits out, not really flick at the minute. I'm just going to fill in any white space we have with fang green. I'm getting a bit of a headache actually. And we're going to cut into it with some brown. And all this does, I didn't do this with the other bit, but this will just help it blend with the grey a bit when I come to do the grey section. I'm just doing a very light touch. I'm not doing anything heavy. And when you do this, it should, the other colours that you've done should make, look like it lifts off and looks furry. Flick, 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 flick. <laughs> I've just finished flick, 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 flicking. Flick I love that her you was doing, Tonya. It was so good. Have you been poorly as well, Tonya? Was it just Murray? It is very different, isn't it? I like being different. Of course, you can flick, Jennifer. It's all at wrist action and Sammy is the queen at her. So if you watch her videos, uh, she does a her series. Honestly, watch it and watch it and watch it and eventually you'll just pick it up because the way Sammy explains it is so clear and simple that you just end up doing it. So check out Sammy's um, her series on her channel. Let's 
so just going in between everything with the fan green and this just gives it enough green that the furry bits of the moss stand out it's looking really mossy <laughs> i love it <laughs> oh you're welcome oh it was just me so you avoided it <laughs> Last night it was like we'd lost her right arm. I was like, where's Tonya and Murray? <gasps> it's looking good. It's looking good. It's very autumn, isn't it, Mossy? There we go, Shannon's on it. Oh, no problem, Jennifer. Thanks for coming watching anyway and have a lovely weekend. Oh, I need to get my nails done. They're growing up so long. They've just all of a sudden gone whoop and grew. And I'm like, where's my nails come? My nails are massively long. Thank you very much, ladies. So there's a link if anyone wants to check out how Sammy does her... Um, it's absolutely amazing and it's mostly where I learned how to do her was from Sammy. Oh, that's even better, Jennifer. <laughs> are you in the UK, Jennifer? Are you in across the big blue pond, as I call it? Hi Kelly, how are you honey? Oh no, Sammy, for years to come I will tell everyone about your hair tutorials. They are, well any, everything you do is really good Sammy so I will always, always promote your videos because I've learned a lot from you so it's kind of like my thank you to you. Do you know what was the highlight of my colouring? Uh, the fact that I actually did a colourathon with Sammy. I was in the thing in Furries in Fall and there was Sammy and Shella. And I was like, oh my God, I was really fangirling. <laughs> and I'm not even embarrassed to say it. I loved it. Just need to put some flicks in here. Not enough flicks. So, Sammy, hats off to you for being such an amazing lady and have a wonderful personality and an amazing YouTube channel.
<laughs> Sammy. <laughs> no, you better not. You'll have definitely have nail police because when I was decorating, I went on live stream with my nails and I certainly got told about it. So definitely don't. <laughs> that looks cool. It actually looks really furry. I can't get over how furry it looks. That is so cool. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the lightest one. Which was Greythorn. Wasn't there someone on Game of Thorn? Thrones called Greythorn. Oh, I didn't get these colours out, did I? So I'm going to go in between everywhere with Greythorn. I'll have to just tell you what it's called. In fact, no, I won't. I'll tell you what I'll do. So... I'll put it in here, what I'm using, because I haven't got flashcards, so. Graython. Oh, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> well, I think it's funny, so I say it. <laughs> Theon Greyjoy. <laughs> That's right, that Debbie. <laughs> The young grey. I knew there was someone, so I'm using grey thorn, and I'm just literally going to put a light layer of this all over the areas that's left. Just a very light layer. So no flickety 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 flick her at this point anyway. She may, no I don't think they'll be at any point actually. I might do some strands coming off the ends. Might do, we'll see. Jane Saxon. I'm just going to stop here because I'm not too sure where I'm going to start crackling it. So, and I need to hand draw at that point as well. So we'll just go to here. Just missed some here. Whoops. So all the hair to here. I think this is her. So I'm not going to go all the way down to there because I think that's her going down the back. Same on this side. I normally use um, Cyberlink, Debbie, but I've had a massive boo-boo with mine. I've bought a new PC 
um, and I didn't realise because my laptop didn't have um, a CD drive in it and I used the product code when I came to put it in here they turned around to me and it said it's been used, it's invalid but it was a lifelong um, subscription thing where you just have it forever so I've rang them and they said oh yeah you had 30 days to download the program after you use your product code and then they've apparently sent me a new one to this manager's studio thing that you have on it which I didn't know about and when I actually went on it it had, the new link they'd sent me had expired and they only send you one link ever so I'm going to have to rebuy an editing software now and that cost me 70 odd quid <laughs> I was like oh gosh But I think um, Colour with Claire uses a good one, doesn't she? I'm not too sure what it's called. Is it Kidminster or something? And she's done a really good video as well of it on her channel. Um, of how to use it. And I think that's the free version she showed you how to use. I think. Don't quote me on it though. could be wrong. If it was the free version or not. All under here, all a chin and a chest. I'm trying to work out where it is a chest because it's all going to look the same anyway, isn't it? So I want to just fade that off from the shoulder there. And then moving on to dim grey. And I think that one that Colour with Claire does as well is cheap to buy it as well, you know, so there's no restrictions to what you can do on it. I think it's actually cheap to buy it over the year as well. So now we're coming in with dim grey. Just let me sharpen it. And work would do flickety flicky normally for her <gasps> look at that again what is going on with these pencils and i've gone i've started using my hand one this is getting shocking and i haven't dropped them That's a lot, that's a chunk of pencil, that what's coming out. I'm going to have to do something with them. Yeah, there tends to be, doesn't there? So now I'm using dim grey. They really are, but I've, this is the first time I've had issues in, when I've been colouring. So sorry, you're going to have to go on a little ride. Now it comes a tracing paper to stop me getting marks on the rest. Sorry, I have to go with the way my wrist goes or else I'll be in agony tomorrow. So, just going to do it as though the light is coming here. So... I'm going to shadow it each strand. From this side. And hopefully it'll give it that effect of being chiselled out. Because I don't want it to look like her strands. I need it to look like it's been chiselled. If that makes sense. Might have to give that a try, Debbie. I think you told me that when I was telling on your stream, didn't you, the other day?
So yeah, I'm trying to get this to look like it's been chiselled, as in, and then I'm going to crack it like I did last uh, over a head, a face, sorry, I'm going to crack all this bit. So on Sunday I'll be able to um, show you the preview of Spooktober if you've not already seen it. And I'll be previewing it up until the right at the start of Spooktober. I'm going to be very light handed here. Ashley's gone quiet. She's about driving home now. And even I've finished work just. Sorry if I'm missing anyone in chat. I'm just having a right little concentrate here. <laughs> No problem, Leah. Thank you for coming watching. Have a lovely weekend, honey. You're not going to see so much difference with these two greys at this point, but the other greys will. But you still need to build it up. How exciting is it when, like a vision you see in your mind that wasn't your original vision starts coming together? But I've not done the cracking bit yet down her arm, so <laughs> let's see how that goes. And I will be doing that on stream tonight. Whether I stream for four hours, I will get to that point because I want to do the background on the next one and stick all my leaves I've collected on on the next stream and glitter her up and everything else. Oh, you're still at work, Ashley. <laughs> you're sneaking around, that's funny. So here, I'm just being mindful of where the shadows would be. Darken up a neck here and bring that down. You are very welcome, Leah. Just bear with me one second while I just go on mum mode just quieten down the eldest by one second getting rather carried away with um, some swear words there it was and I was thinking next minute you're all got to be hearing it <laughs>
feel so strange not watching me chat from my little tablet and watching it on my normal screen. Uh, I've not, but I have looked at it, uh, Kat, so let me know what you find out about it. <laughs> yeah, Jane, back in mum mode there. Sorry, I'm turning here, there and everywhere now, I wasn't... Because I need to, I'm um, going to go upside down this time. <laughs> My wrist doesn't like playing sometimes. And then I get, if I don't turn the page and I go out and I get pain for absolute days. So it, I need to turn the page, so I do apologise. I once had a condition where my hands and my feet swelled up like massive puddings. I've never seen nothing like it, but the pain was immense. And I was on naproxen for about four months. And I went seeing a specialist and they told me I had what was called sarcoidosis. Never heard of it in my life, but basically it's a condition where it you attack your own immune system. Um. And if it goes away after about between three and six months, it stays acute. Or if it comes back within that time, within five years, it you'll get it chronic. And I've been lucky enough, touch wood, to, um, for it not to come back. But it's left me with like aching joints. So when the seasons change and it starts going cold, my hands and my fingers ache. Um, so I do my best to not. When I do colour, I try and colour that be aids me better. So I do apologise if um, it looks a bit weird being upside down. Would this class, though, as this colouring checklist, that at this moment in time I'm colouring upside down? <laughs> Sammy will have to confirm. I'm not too sure. Can't I, don't you just get it once a month that I thought you got access to the page first before everybody else? I think that's what I got from it. But I'm not too sure. I could be wrong. Oh, thank you, Joyce, and welcome. Oh, Shannon. <laughs> I've coloured it upside down. Have you not noticed? I just turned my camera around so it was all right for you lot. <laughs> I promise I've coloured it upside down. Uh, this way, this side. How's Riker doing, Shannon? Is he being the usual naughty pup? Seriously, cat. I need to put colour upside down all the time. Uh, 
I have coloured the I have coloured things in the past upside down. I just can't remember which ones they were. Um, and I used to colour her before I videoed. I used to do that upside down. Right, so I'm just going to leave that her there because I'm not too sure where that's going to break out yet. But Okay, I'm going to move on to the next darkest, which is flat black. Oh, I am getting a headache. Oh, send me a picture. I love Poppy sleeping. <laughs> it's a bit weird, that, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm just going to turn again. Puppies. My puppy's at my mum's at the minute because he's somehow um, trapped his claw. We, I thought that because my puppy is really boisterous and my big giant is so massive, um, I thought they did it playing and I thought Milo had bit on his paw um, a bit to her, but it's he's not. It look, By the looks of it, when they've been playing... Um, it looks like he's got it caught in a flag and yanked his claw and it's made it come away from the bed a little, you know where the claw goes into the skin as it starts there it's quite loose so I've just shaved all his hair off and we're just hoping it doesn't get infected or else he'll have to go to the vets um, but he won't let me look at it for days so he's ended up jumping all over the couch and my big dogs knocked him off the chair which then hit his paw again and then he was lifting it up off the floor so he's gone to my mum's for recovery <laughs> I have um, a miniature schnauzer I have two a giant and a miniature schnauzer what are you doing Sherry I'm, I'm a bit confused sorry what what are you doing home Yeah, yeah, I've been keeping it clean and now I've got the hair off. Um, I just want to put this colour on. Now I've got the hair off, it's even better because he's um, he's all he's licking it himself as well. So that's going to help. But I'm not too sure whether it's going to fall off or whether it'll just heal. We'll have to see. Oh, what book are you getting, Joyce? I have no idea what's happened to my son, but I can hear him talking in there. And he's developed what I call a gaming accent. It's nothing like my accent. It certainly doesn't sound like from where I'm from. He's developed some multilingual twang. And I have no idea, nor do I recognise what it is, apart from all his mates saying the same. And I think he's picking up like different bits of accent and meddling them all together. <laughs>
He's 18, Debbie. Sorry, Shannon. Brian has the same What I forgot what I've talked about. <laughs> I'm getting a headache and it's making me a bit... I might have to go and take some tablets. I think that's because I've been diamond painting all day and I think my eyes are a bit shot. <laughs> well, it'll be I'm saying he's eighteen, he'll be eighteen at the end of the year. I'm just saying he's eighteen now and he's not, he's actually seventeen. But he's a proper snot rag teenager, as I call him. <laughs> a gaming accent, has he? <laughs> I was thinking then, has Brian got the same dogs? He's got a miniature and, a, and I was thinking, which has he got the same of here? It's weird. Because I keep saying to him, where have you picked that up from? And he's like, it's just my normal voice. I said, that is totally not your normal voice. I'll have you know. And he's like, mum, it is. going to plan so far this I'm so excited I hope this new software that I've been sent to download will help and I can get my camera on Yeah, it's not good for him, is it, is it, Debbie? I have to monitor what the length of time he's on or else he'd be on it all day over. He goes to college and then he comes home and stays in his room and then his room stinks like sweaty teenager. It's awful. And then he comes downstairs and talks like that and I think, where's that come from? <laughs> Shannon! <laughs> Oh, do you mean? <laughs> Hillbilly. You don't talk like hillbillies. I love your accents, though. Are you keeping him um, or will he be part, is he in part of your rescue, Shannon? Will he get a new home or is he yours? Yeah, uh, the webcams can be a bit temperamental, but mine has been all right. Um, and I use OBS, but OBS can be extremely temperamental. Um, so I can't wait to actually use my phone, but only because if my big camera, my actual professional camera will work and I can get that to stream, then I won't need it. Obviously, I'll be able to get so close. I can't, I'm excited for hopefully it works. But otherwise, I'd use my phone because my phone's got a better camera than the webcam. But obviously, you can't stream. You can if you use Streamlabs, but I found that really temperamental and it didn't help. <laughs> that main accent is funny Ashley was showing me on her video chat what um, the main accent is like
my blending tonight is shocking, but it's because I'm trying to rush. Not rush, rush, but I want to get to the next bit. <laughs> the language coming out of his mouth is disgusting. I'm going to have to go in one more again in a minute. Oh, did you? Oh, bless him. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Yeah, stick with your phone if you can, Debbie. Do you use Streamlabs then or something to stream through your phone? I could never get it to work. <laughs> I've got to have to if that language carries on. It's disgusting. My husband's the same. He's a bus driver and he comes home and he, you'd tell he's been with crowd at fellas at work and he's just like, Rawr! and I'm like, shut that mouth when you come in. It's disgusting. I only swear if I'm really, really annoyed. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to leave the hair at this bit because I'm not too sure where I'm going with I want to know where I'm starting cracking it and I think I'm going to crack it from my shoulders so back on this side now I'll just give this a little sharpen Don't know what I did then. I shouldn't have moved my pitch around then. Sorry. Oh, thanks, Jane. Yeah, it just seemed really complicated and I could never get it. It kept saying to me, no stream, and I was just like, Ugh. and then I would just go back to just streaming with the webcam because I just couldn't get it to work. But I'm not very good with technology that is complicated. I think this one might be another long process of colouring this all the way through September. <laughs> I've noticed with the boots in Jasmine's box, you have to be careful how heavy you lay down. Um, you have to be quite gentle with your layers. I've noticed or else the paper starts um, deteriorating a bit, which is I was quite shocked at because at first it felt really good paper. Hi, Marilyn.
Marilyn Shannon's your best one. Ask. I think she's just completed it. Uh, Shannon, are you still here? Or Sammy? Sammy might still be lurking. Oh, which one are you doing in the same boot, Debbie? Just tail that off there as well. Just come under here with the neck. I want this really dark under here. I love this flat black. It's like a bluey grey. Is she looking statuey yet? Oh, good night, Sammy. Have a lovely weekend and hope I want to see pictures of it finished when you're done. <laughs> and just get Andrew, make sure he gives you a bit of a massage. I bet that's one amazing challenge, that, though. Could just keep shading with one pencil. I might try that one myself. There is... I've done quite a few. I'm going to have to go back onto the hashtag and see which ones I've done. Because... Some of my pictures tie into quite a few of them anyway. But it is an amazing challenge which probably take me a year if not longer to complete. Just bear with me, mum mode. Mum mode. Honestly, kids, eh? <laughs> I don't know. It depends if he wants to get you any payback or anything. So. <laughs> Tell it be gentle. How long have we got left of the year, Shannon? 
Oh, Sammy, when did it start? <laughs> <laughs> My blending is shocking. I'm really rushing too much here. Just resisting gray a second. Just checking how long I've been streaming. Plenty time yet. Plenty time. My husband is sorting the kids out tonight so I can stream as long as I want. <laughs> Luke, I wish mine were. April 2021, I've loads of time. <laughs> What's that, Marilyn? <laughs> I am a bit of a nutty colourist, I must admit. It's um, I'm doing it more like stone. It's not her. It's I'm doing her as a statue, so I'm doing it more like shaded as though they've chopped. It's chopped out the stone. I don't know. It'll either work or it won't work. We'll see. And if it doesn't have ruined a good picture. <laughs> You finish work, Ashley. <laughs> oh, lovely Debbie. I have a space on my landing where I go. Where's Grey Farm gone? I thought I'd knock more than one pencil off. I've lost a pencil. There we go. It's stuck to my arm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, Marilyn. It is. I want it to look like it's been chiselled. So that's why I'm um, only colouring the... Very back bit, should I say, if that's the right word to use. So it looks like they've chiselled out. I'm going to be going in with black in a minute, so hopefully that will really sharpen them dinted areas out. Because I'm trying to think, well, how would her be done on a statue? They wouldn't sit there and do strand by strand, so that was me thinking on it. And then I'm going to crack it all like I've done the face. <laughs> so that will be fun. So now I'm using Black Widow. I'm just putting these on here because I don't have the flashcards for Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Ashley. <laughs> No problem, Sherry. Have a lovely weekend and thanks for coming along to the stream. Yeah, I'm definitely cracking it all. Um, I just want to get the shadows right now. Because I think the moss is looking amazing. That's when my drawing skills come out. And uh, I don't normally do my drawing in front of everybody. We are live in Ashley's car. <laughs> oh, I better keep chatting then. I'm just concentrating here, so if I do go a bit quiet, I'm very sorry. It's purely because I don't want to do too much black that it ruins it, but I need to put enough on that it gives it that definition that we're after. Well... I think I need to add my Cajun chicken to my list of things I can't have with Crohn's disease because my stomach is popping and making some very strange noises. <laughs> very strange. I don't think it agrees with uh, what I've eaten tonight. Yeah, I think this is looking good. <laughs> I say I can draw, I can draw in my style. I think I can draw, but if I Compare me to an artist, I definitely can't draw. Although I am giving everyone a drawing of me on in my Facebook group for Halloween to colour. But I need to get it on my Procreate and straighten it all out. Cause I've sh I think I've showed you all before, but I'll show you all again, just in case you are in my group. This is what I drew absolutely ages ago. Let me just pull it out of frame. So you can see. Um, and I'm going to be doing this one. But I just need to put it on. I drew this last year. Around Halloween-ish I think. Um, but I wanted a mix between the sugar skull and nature. So it was my botanical sugar skull. That's what I called it. So it's not the best of detail. And there's things that are, very, are not very in proportion. So I'm going to get it on my Procreate. And straighten everything up. But. That was my drawing behind it and I'm going to give that away as um, a colouring page for all my members in October. So if you want to colour that you need to be joined at Shell Arte and Colouring Friends. 
So that's as far as my drawing goes. <laughs> No problem, Debbie. Thanks very much for coming and watching. I'll catch you on yours as well, hopefully soon. I bet you'll be on till about midnight doing this tonight. Do you know what? I'm going to do this more often because if it wasn't for Kat saying, oh, do a stone, I'd have never have ever, ever done this. And I love how it challenges you to see how far it can push you. I went very quiet on my last stream. But this stream, I'm like, yeah, feeling it. I'm really feeling it. <laughs> I'm not too sure if that does look mossy. It's if it still looks mossy, I'm not zoomed in enough here, am I? Still got to get put some brown in that yet. So who's ready for the Halloween months? Who loves Halloween and who hates it? And who fully embraces the ghoulies and the ghostly goings on of Halloween? So cannot wait for our ghost hunting stuff with our Love Let Supernatural Diaries team can't wait so excited to get back into it all I'm going to use my flat black just to blend some of that in a bit Just checking I'm not too far behind because I can't, because I'm, I'm on my actual, just watching the live stream chat directly from YouTube. I'm worried that I'm dropping behind or lagging or anything. So I've just checked them where I was up to with you all. <laughs> so this flat black, I'm just slightly going over all the other colours and taking out because it's a little bit too white still. So if you're following along with this, you might reconsider using the two lighter ones and just blending with these two if you wanted to.
No problem, cat. And what have you all got planned for Halloween, if you've got any plans? That looks ace, doesn't it? <laughs> really does. So I'm just going to do this side and then I'm going to miss a bit here. Hello, Kirsty. How are you? I'm actually, now I've done a head, I'm actually loving it even more. She's looking how I was visioning now. Can't wait to crack it all in a minute. To get cracks everywhere. I just need to turn my page, guys. I'm struggling. I, mean, I can feel my wrist going funny. <laughs> we'll just turn it this way. How are you doing? How's your um, dinosaur coming along, Kirsty, in the Kirby? How's it coming along? How much further have you got with that background? Ah, oh, no worries. Thank you very much. I'm happy to have you watching. Are y'all feeling better? I was feeling a bit bad this morning when I woke up. I thought, Ugh. I felt really snotty, but my nose was really dry. And then because of obviously what's gone on with my daughter and that someone's tested positive at school, instantly thinking, oh, I wonder if I've got corona. And then I coughed and I was like, oh, my throat's sore. But then I thought about it. I'd been lied on my front for bed and I probably snored my conker off all night. 
and that's probably what it was more to do with the fact that I've been snoring and it's dried my nose and my throat because as soon as I got up and had my morning brew I was um, back to my normal self but for that 10 minutes of waking up and figuring out where I am and what I'd done and I was like oh I feel a bit ill <laughs> hi Rochelle how are you honey welcome I'm a bit gutted here because some of my moss has lost its shape. Okay, we're going to just jump back to whatever you've gone. Flat black and just blend some of this out again. The moss still standing out. I might need to put the brain in it now as well. This is looking so good. Not too bad, Rachel, not too bad. Plodding on as we all do. Getting used to this weird world we all live in now. Before you know it, we'll all be back on lockdown. <laughs> We're on the edge of another one. It's just getting silly. So I'm going to crack all this top bit now and then we're going to work on blending her out down here first. So really sharp black widow pencil. I'm going to continue some of these cracks on. I'm just going to be random. I'm not going to be... better to follow on some cracks and then she looks very crackly And this bit, I'm not even bothered if I do like a, I might do a chunk of one missing here and then cracks coming off it. And then colour all that in black. She can have a big chunk missing here actually. So all that nice blending I've just done. Do a very crackle around here. Some hairline fractures. It looks cool, doesn't it, when you get going? I'm just going to keep my point smooth i hope i've not missed anyone in chat hi everyone all over the place i like that <laughs> oh thank you tanya it does look good doesn't it i'm actually loving how it looks to be honest uh so i'm gonna oh, what have i done to the shape of that pencil it's just weird <laughs> so gonna travel this one here and have a nice little 
call here. I'm going to put these continuing some of these on. crack this way so then uh, I'll have one going this way so I'm coming down there I'll have a big call here Sorry if I do miss anyone chatting in chat. Just repeat any questions just while I'm doing this. Um, because I'm just concentrating. No problem, Kenny. But I like this is when I come to life when I start drawing stuff. I love it. A big chunk missing out of here. How's that looking? I think that looks good, doesn't it? So we want a crack going here. I'm going to do cracks here cracks here there's a big one running down here and running over there There's not a crack here, but I've just missed a bit of shading. <laughs> just add that back in there. So we want a crack here. One down the neck here. So I want this bit to look really uh so I'm gonna I'm gonna draw this bit in. So there's gonna be bits of skin here where the thing is broke off and I wanna expose the skin. So that'll be like one there. And then from here I want little shards. Crack 
crack that up to that. So that's where I'm going to mark the skin out, I think. Hi, Wilson. How are you? <laughs> No problem, because I'll speak to you tomorrow, honey. So, just need to work out now. So, if I'm cracking it off from here, I'm going to do another bit here. And all that will be grey. So... Just sharpen it again. It's going to be nothing left in my pencil by the time I'm finished. <laughs> I'm so excited to get it done though. So I'm going to crack. So this is a cracky. So I'm going to bring a crack down here and a cross up there. I just brought the end off. I didn't want to do that. And then do another big crack down this bit. I always assume it's Tonya. <laughs> Because Mary normally comes on hers. <laughs> okay, and then I want to break this off. This is all still her here. So I brought that off there. So I'm going to bring some here. It's all looking a bit mad here. I'm going to get all confused what I'm colouring. But it's coming out, it's coming out the way I want it, it is. So I've cracked here, so I want a crack coming down here. So let's see, I want to crack coming down like that. And then I'll put a big chunk missing out of here. And then that can crack off onto this piece. And then that can join to the and this where I'm putting this darker edge. Is where I know the stone's going to end. And the skin will begin.
Whoa, that is a pretty uh, expensive trip there. <laughs> so, right, where I'm going to put this really dark edge. This is where I know her body's going to come into real life there and here. So she all needs to be, so gone back to Greythorn. I just hope I broke it down enough there that she just doesn't look like she's got a stone head. What I might do is add just a few other stony bits. that are still stuck to her, if that makes sense. Ouch. <laughs> Definitely ouch. Hi, Jilly. Lurking and working. That's fine with us. Don't worry about it. Glad you're here. And I'm just going back to Greythorn here. Now I know where I've put where's going to be cracks and where's going to be her normal attire I'm hoping this is going to look cool I'm going to do a patch of a skin there and then these are pieces that are stuck to her. No problem, Kenny. And I'm using dim grey. So now I'm going to follow it like a skin tone. So I'm going to go around it. I need to sharpen him for a start. And I'm going to put in all the darker edges where she would naturally be as you would do your skin tone. So 
so if that's a her coming down she'll have a shadow here and you keep a her strands going as well be fun to do flicks coming from under there as well in a minute from where that started and this is finished i'm just trying to work out because i've kind of with there's too many lines going on <laughs> that's t-shirt that's her that's her that's t-shirt so i'll just put a shadow around here from a her And then same on this bit, if that's a t-shirt edge, we'll put dark in here. <laughs> oh bless them are you back cat <laughs> and then she'll have a darker shadowed section here that's all her so here's her what I'm going to do part of that grey was my black I'm going to crack that off there so I can do the rest of that real her as well I'm just going to have a shadow from that dragon's wing I'll have shadow from her hair here. We're going to go in with flat to black. Oh, thank you, Kat. I'm just confusing myself here now because um, I can't, I've can't. i lost the... Because I've done so many dirt lines. I've lost what are actually... Um, what Jasmine's put in. And what I've put in. I don't think I'll be able to stream too much longer because my husband's at work. <gasps> Look, there we go again. The same one. But no, actually, this is flat black. The other one was the grey thorn, wasn't it? There's something definitely gone on because these are all from different sets as well. It's not even... My blade could need sharpening as well on this because that's making that a bit funny. So let's go back in with these here. I think it's got the effect I was after. It's got the moss effect on the stone. And that's looking good.
the stone itself is looking good and the cracks are looking good I've just got to crack the dragon after that, but I, could, I might do him off camera. So that's a t-shirt, so I want a black bit here. Sorry, I'm going to keep talking to myself here because this bit is a bit confusing. It just gives it that nice definition though, doesn't it? <sighs> oh, everyone's getting serenity. I feel like I'm missing out. I did this when I saw Kat's um, Laura Rafferty's book and I was like, oh, I've got to buy that now. So I got that and I'm going to end up getting these Anastasia ones. I can see it coming. It's foretold in my future because everyone keeps writing about it and I'm like, ooh, 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 Shell needs that. <laughs> and I need to put a black thing in there. Need to put these definition in these hair strands here. I must have forgot about. Tell you what, it's the quickest I've ever done hair. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Kim. I wasn't too sure if this... I was saying to it, Ashley before, she said, ooh, stream later, and I went, oh, no, I'm not... I, I'm a bit worried because I'm not too sure if it's going to come out how I, I imagined. But it so totally is. So totally coming out how I expected it. Even the moss looks cool, but I've still got some brown to put in that and I'm going to deepen it up a bit more, I think, as well. Make it look a bit sharper. But I think she's definitely looking like a mossy looking statue thing. But I can't take all the credit. It was Kat that suggested the stone. And Kenny suggested me cracking it. So it's a joint effort. Right, let me just go in with black. Back to Black Widow. Hello, you're back, Kenny. I'm going to sharpen them up anyway with black pen. And really make them cracks pop.
So I hope you've all enjoyed my moss looking statue. <laughs> the mad creation that it's come out. Are you all doing challenges? What y'all doing? I want to know. Halfway up. Nice. I'm about, since you told me to use my multiplacer, I think I'm about just under halfway up now. I think that's looking good there. Just need to put some moss in and then I'll get my skin tones out to finish the skin and then we'll do clothes and background on the next one. So let me just get my brain. Just need to put some brain into the moss. Just look little flicks even though I'm not doing anything. Right, a shot there as well, Anta. <laughs> I love inside out. Sometimes angry comes out. <laughs> and at one point, my little girl actually thought, actually talked about angry sadness, uh, fear, and happy. That they were all in her head and they were the ones that controlled her. It was quite funny. <laughs> oh, which Jasmine book, Rochelle? And Deb sees colouring and furry miracles. And Jill is colouring in nice little tone Halloween. Oh, I'll have to look that one up. Is Squeak as a bird?
Ooh, sting punk darlings. I've not seen that one. I want to get that one. But I want the artist edition one. You know, the actual spiral bound one. I don't like the ones off Amazon. I won't get actually one. An artist edition one. He's, I was asking his squeak as a, um, is it a bird? And what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to take my darkest green and I'm going to run that through in different parts of the grey as well, just to tie in some more of this moss. Yeah, I'm a bit the same, Wilson. I'm not very into Victorian colouring its claws and things like that. Um, but I will for the event to what to join in on the weekend. But I'm not too sure which I want. If I'm being honest. Okay, so I want to get uh, Fang. Where's Fangulang gone? There he is. And I'm just going to do some. Bring some more green out. Just lightly. And where we've kept it light. I'm just going to tie in some more of that green over the top. And this is just so it gets that. It's like it's growing some more moss. Let's change that to fang green. Ah, is that like a parrot? I know I'm not very good with birds, so I honestly don't mean to offend if I got that completely wrong, but I have no idea. What other things are Victorian? I could colour a Victorian lady, couldn't I, with some kind of hat on? could go as far as a hat do a portrait type of thing
a cousin of the parrot. <laughs> You're not weird, cat. You just like what you like. She's a parrot. Yeah. Can you do steampunk? Ah, well, there we go. No problem, Shannon, honey. Steampunk. Now I can do that. And I've got loads of steampunk images as well. Already printed off. Might just put a bit of green on a shoulder here. Bring on some of the hair down here. Oh, Rachel, if you have me on uh, Instagram, send me a picture. I love um, parrots and stuff. I just don't know what they're all called and things like that. So send me a picture. I'd like to see. So I think. For the storm part, we'll put a bit on her cheek here. Okay, I'm just going to get the skin tone colours out now. But as for her, the top storm part, I think she's pretty much done with that bit. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. <laughs> I'm just going to pull her out and just have a quick look. I like looking at what it looks like. Pulled out. Let's have a look how she's looking. I'm just going to get the skin colours out now. So I've already got Choctaw and Negra out. So I just need now. So for the skin tone, I'm using Merc, eggshell Merc, 
white mocha, negra and choctorn. I'm just going to get them out. So I'm going to go with eggshell. Yay, you're home. <laughs> There's that cockerel. I knew that cockerel would turn up at some point. Oh, do you know what? I haven't done these shadowing on these woods. And I need to make them look a bit 3D actually, so. Bear with me a second. There we go, 3D there. And we're just going to come. Glad you had a safe journey home. I was watching some um, storm chasing videos about Tornado Alley. Before I love, if I lived near that tornado alley, I would be a storm chaser as well. I think I just love it. Not the disaster it causes, obviously, but they fascinate me. So. I just want one more piece running here. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? I love it. I'm just going to put one more here. I need these to be not to look more three D. Right, that looks quite defined. Let's 
go. <laughs> oh. I wasn't meant to do that. I meant to brush off, like, properly. I'm using eggshell now. Let's zoom in and get the skin tone done. Yep, I'm absolutely loving this now. This time I'm quiet because I'm concentrating that much because I really, really love it. So I'm going in with eggshell. I'm just going to put all these out of the way. Oh, I got my little stickers today that are one off. Um, did everyone enter the um, 10k followers for Emily Illustrator? And I won an image and I picked the teacup drawing and then you got a sticker and I asked for the matching um, sticker. Um, so I got the teapot PDF colouring and then she sent me the sticker and it's so lovely and it come in this little, um, I'm not showing the envelope because I keep showing my address, but it comes in this little envelope with a little note personally from in there, which is lovely. There's the little sticker and then you got these in Emily's logo and this is stunning it's holographic i love it i'm definitely gonna need a scrapbook for all these stickers that i'm collecting <laughs> he was in a top chat party i keep doing it i think they've changed it No, I've not either, Kenny. So, and then a little card with all Emily's stuff on. So, do check Emily out. Um, she's just at 10K on Instagram. So, you can get her on YouTube, Emily Illustrator. Instagram, at Emily Illustrator. And then she's on Etsy. So, I got my image and she's got her stickers on here. Um, so that's Emily Illustrator Shop on Etsy and then Facebook Emily Illustrator and then website is emilyillustrator.com. So hopefully you can see all them. But how cute. So thank you very much, Emily. If you watch the stream back, I received your lovely stickers today. And they're lovely. So I'm going to colour the page in. And then put the stickers on, do a little memoir. Good night, Lou. Thanks for watching, honey. Have a lovely weekend. And I'll speak to you on Messenger anyway. <laughs> I'll not be far behind you either, Lou. So I'm going in now with eggshell and I'm just going to give the whole area that's going to be skin just with a wash of this I still don't know after doing that stone on the skin I don't know which was harder doing um I'm going to just take that lettering off now. I don't need that on. I don't know what was harder, doing the stone skin or doing normal skin. <laughs> I'm going in with Merc. Merc, Merc.
lots of dust from the grey. <laughs> Just sit back and let her do it. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's the uh, Kenny and sh um, Cat are very fast indeed. I think I should have put my eraser on the blank paper where I'm putting this now because there's bits of grey and it's dirty in my colours I'm putting down. She is, she is, but she just, she just said she's sitting back. <laughs> she's very, they're all very, you're all very fast to be honest. You're faster than me getting a link. Totally not putting these. Colours I'm using on Emma. Not being very good here. So I'm on to light mocha now. Or mocha. However you pronounce it. Eraser <laughs> is Peter Hewitt um, from the UK. So with this Merc, I'm just being mindful of shadows as well. So from these little bits I'm putting in. I know you're sure you're all in the running for the Link Queen Cup at Christmas. I think we'll have to just send you all one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I sounded a bit um, Australian for a minute. <laughs> I'm going back to Merck. I'm just blending it in a bit more. Then eggshell. And then now I'm going to come in with the dark tones. So we're using Negra. 
the first colour, I think my, who was my first one? Gosh, I'm trying to think. I think it was Colour with Claire was the first one I watched. And then uh, I used to watch a lot of um, Zucchini Kitty because that's how I ended up getting um, my ink tents pencils but I can't use them nowhere near as good as Karen can so I've got these little bits here I want to just do shadows coming from them it just adds to the 3D-ness if that's the right word You need all the Black Widows. <laughs> Go and get them. Go and get them, Ashley. Here comes the Enable train. Get on it straight to um, Amazonville. Egids, what's that? Oh, I forgot I've got a hand to do. Where's her other hand? Where's her hand? Must be hiding under her feet somewhere. There's a hand here I've got to do. I've seen that. I've definitely had my fill of Harry Potter these last few days. Every time she come home from school, straight we've had Harry Potter on every night. And then we got to the end of them all last night. And then she said, I don't think we watched Order of the Phoenix. So next minute that was on. Today. Okay, then back to light mocha. I get that as well, Debs. It's like once you've got them out, you use them more, don't you? When they're in the tins, you're just like, oh, I can't bother getting that out of the tin. So I'm just going to build up the layers now. I'm just going to keep going over with light mocker. Then Merc.
him and lastly on this arm we're going to use chalk tone I'm just going to put this in the very edge notice that this paper doesn't take loads and loads and loads of layers not at my pressure that I use anyway How do y'all think this bit is looking here? I am, yeah. <laughs> He's going to be, I'm going to do his wings all stone. Or I might do him opposite. I might do his feet and then break him out and his wings be coloured. I'm not too sure. No problem, Kenny. Thank you for coming along, honey. Thanks for everything you've done. No problem. Go get your sleep home. Ah, oh. we love our Kenny. You're all everywhere. Shannon is, and Kenny. Every stream, guaranteed, them two ladies are looking after the streamers. Does everyone think that this was a good idea then? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do his feet stone. And then his wings like bright and spread out because I was thinking when I looked at it her stone ends there so it would probably be a bit too clashy um, so I think that's definitely going to be the way I go I'm so happy that bit's worked out right <laughs> Like you don't very much have stressed over that not working because I've not had time to practice either. Because I've been busy today and I'm like, oh, is it going to work? Is it going to work? And I think it looks amazing. But I think I might have to do the other arm off camera. And then do the dragon. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I think on Sunday... We'll get the rest of it done. Or I might do the dragon off camera. Do you want to see the dragon or can I do the dragon off camera? Let me know what you want. I'm easy. I don't mind which we do. So I'm just going to go over this all now with eggshell. And just blend it all together. So I'm going to smooth it all out. not that great at it i need to start experimenting i just keep going back to my good old faithful colors that i know i can do because after i was um all stressed doing that stone i thought i better not try and change the color tones yet <laughs> so i think 
I'm going to zoom out. I've been on for three and a half hours, so I think for tonight that is time. So Debs wants to see the dragon. No problem, Kat. I'm coming off as well. So thank you very much, honey, for all you've done. Um, have a lovely sleep and have a lovely weekend. And I'll speak to you anyway <laughs> in the messages. So we're definitely wanting to see the dragon. So if I tell you what I'll do, I'll finish off the other arm. And I'll probably do the pumpkins because pumpkins are very simple, aren't they? And then all I'll have to do is her clothes, the tights, the dragon, and then I'm doing the background in neo colours. Uh, so I think that's how it's going to work. So I'll do the rest of the skin off camera um, and then we'll come back to it on Sunday. Um, but as for that, I think that looks... It, I think it looks amazing. Let me just turn this light off and just focus on the... I think that one can end up being a bit too bright. Oh, thank you, Jilly. So, that's it on the stream tonight. I'd like to thank everyone um, for coming and watching my stream. And making my streams amazing like you always do so I'm not too sure there's still 11 watching so thank you to all my mod squad um, you're all amazing and I really really appreciate everything you do and my channel wouldn't be the same without them so can we give everyone one of my mods a lovely round of applause and a high five and thank you to all my subscribers um, everyone that's watching and everyone that's chatting in chat Thank you, thank you so much for following my journeys. I know I'm slow and there's many, many parts to each picture I do. But I thank you all for sticking with me and following me. Um, and again, my channel wouldn't be what it is without you lot with me. So thank you, thank you so much. I want you all to stay safe. Take care with all what's going on around the country and rises are going on everywhere. Please take care and I will see you all on Sunday. And for anyone I speak to outside of the stream, I will probably speak to you in the next few minutes. <laughs> so, from Shell Arte, breaker of tips, slayer of names, and gob on legs. Good night. Bye.